how y'all doing it is about time for more hair related videos i know you guys have been asking for these type of videos Maybe you haven't been asking for it, but I know you want it. So anyway, you guys, this is going to be a little bit different for me because I am filming in our new home. Aesthetically, it's beautiful, but this is kind of a bigger room. So I'm trying to get more stuff in here so that the volume won't be bouncing off the walls. You know what I mean? So anyway, let's get right into this video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing a product that I didn't need, but I want it. The Blue Magic Argan Oil Mango and Lime Leave-In Conditioner. Now, I purchased this from, Am from Amazon, excuse me, for like $7 and some change. Let's just jump right into it. Ingredients are horrible. They're horrible. They're whack. If you're very picky about what you put on your hair and ingredients, as far as, as far as ingredients, excuse me, you don't want this. But if you don't care and you're still looking for a product that does well, I heard this got great reviews. So ingredients, again, water, mineral oil, petroleum, sterile alcohol, glycerin, yeah, some seed, mango seed butter, citrus fruit, extract, a lot of alcohols, which we know can be drying. Depending on the type of alcohol, it can be drying to the hair. So this particular product is very runny. I don't want to say very runny, but ooh, and that's, that smell... It smells like a cheap cheap hair product. It is what it is. The consistency is like if you would take VO5 and add it some water. It's a little bit, yeah, it's like a VO5 and add some water. Let's look at it like this. Oh, that's creamy. I saw Nezzy Naps use this video and we have very, while well, she was loose. Now, um, Angel, AKA Nezzy Naps, has locked her hair and um yeah so she can't be using this stuff anyway you guys so we're gonna see how this is going to act all right you guys so here i am applying the product you have to excuse that little patch of white there that's just a little bit excuse me a little bit of the conditioner but that is not going to affect my hair because look at all of this section of hair i'm going to be applying the leave-in conditioner now my hair is damp it is not soaking wet but it's definitely damp for me personally i always um apply a leave-in conditioner when my hair is wet excuse me damp um that way it can soak in a little bit better ensuring that i apply the product from the top to the ends now do you see this I am working this product in and it's literally sitting on top of my hair strands. I'm going to divide this big section up to make applying the product easier. But I find that, or at least I found that the product was still sitting on top of my hair and I try for five minutes to work this in. Um, even adding a little bit of fenugreek oil, sectioning off. And I'm gonna do three big twists on this large section of hair. And you guys can see that it did dry overnight but one thing i want to add is that as i was taking down my hair it felt there was like a grease residue on my fingertips you guys have to understand i have tried hundreds of products so i'm not a big fan of that feeling on my hair but hey it did leave my hair moisturized um, would I buy it again? I, at this point, I would say no, but it looks good. It feels good, but there are better products on the market. All right, you guys, it is the very next day of me trying the Blue Magic Argan Oil Mango and Lime Leave-In Conditioner. Now my hair is still wet, but look at it. Look at it. Yes, it's juicy. Now let's try. This is still wet, but it feels good. Let's try and take down one that's kind of, kind of dry. But not really. Girl, these ends are ragged, y'all. Okay. All right. It's okay. It's okay. Look, I'm a type of person, I would rather try out a product myself. And I always encourage you guys, just don't go by what I say. Buy it and try it out yourself. Because everyone is going to get, um, not everyone, but you're not going to get the same results as i make it did i use it on here y'all yeah this is more dry let's see my hair feels hella soft 
Oh yes, it feels moisturized. But I can't, honestly, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I can't, I will not be able to tell 100% until it's dry. But for now, I would say yes. Now, is it the best, absolutely best leave-in conditioner I've ever used? No, I'm just being honest. Um, but for the price point and the amount you get, I say try it out. Or try it out yourself. It is less than seven bucks. No, less than eight bucks. And this will last me for a couple of a months, even with the density and thickness of my hair. So absolutely try it out. 13, almost 14 ounces. You can't beat that. And again, I purchased this from Amazon, so I will be having the link below in the description. So yeah, try it out, you guys. Let me know how you like it. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.